What up, players? Warboss Tay back up in this mug. Welcome to my unboxing of the Sisters of Battle Repentia squad. We're going to take a look at the miniatures in this box, build them up, stick them on the bases, and take a look at how they come together. Thanks so much for watching this video. This video is also an appreciation video for Daniel Sprinkle of Sprinkle Studios, who has uh, just become a very generous sponsor through Patreon of my studio. So thank you so much, Daniel Sprinkle, and I hope you enjoy this video. The reason why I chose it is because Daniel Sprinkle has been known to paint up some really awesome looking Sisters of Battle, and I really wanted to say thank you for his support of my studio. So if you have not even seen Daniel Sprinkle, then get over to his channel. I will put a link down below in the description. Hit that subscribe button and tell him Warboss Tay sent you. So right out the bat, you can see there are all just about all single pose miniatures. And I believe you get two, four, six, eight, nine Sisters Repentia and then one Whip Lady. Uh, nine Sisters of Battle Repentia and one Mistress. Ooh! You also get 12 round bases with slots. Okay, so let's take a look at them and see how many multiple identical sculpts we have and uh, how they look. So the first one we're going to take a look at is this one who's holding her chainsword out in front of her. They've all got like hoods and they're all wrapped in chains and they've all got these long skirts. So there's some flashing which you can see this metal that we're going to need to clip away. I'm noticing a couple of mold lines that I can see when I turn it into the light but uh, you can easily get rid of these mold lines by using a hobby knife, the back of your hobby knife. You don't want to use the bladed side, but you want to use the back side. And you just want to gently s scrape away at the mold lines until they are gone. So I'm going to be doing that with all the figures, all the mold lines that I see. You want to take a pair of clippers, hobby clippers, and use those to work on the bits of flashing. You don't want to just be like pulling at it with your fingers because you could accidentally bend the miniature. And of course you want to make sure you know where the flashing ends and the model begins. If I didn't know that this was the handle, part of the handle of the chainsword, I might have just in my haste clipped the whole thing off. That would not have been good. And then as soon as you're done clipping it off, you want to go back in, clean it up, get it as, as tight to where you want it to be. And then you can go back in with your hobby knife and do some last minute cleaning. So I will do that on my own. And yeah, otherwise this one looks pretty standard. She's got her eviscerator out in front of her and she's looking off a little bit to the left. This next scope, she's got her eviscerator in almost like an action pose. I think she's about to bring it down or she's about to bring it up. Well, it looks like she's bringing it down because if you look at these purity seals, the motion is that they're flapping in the wind behind her, plus her little, these bits are flying behind her as well. So it either looks like it's, it's in the wind or she's chopping downwards with it. It's pretty cool. It's interesting. These are going to be a lot of fun to paint. I'm not sure, Daniel Sprinkle, I, I'm not sure if I've seen these on your channel. Oh, identical sculpt. It's our first pair for first identical sculpt, but um, I'm, I'm gonna have to look through some of your old videos and see if you've done any of these older Repentia models. I know they came out again in plastic, they released the new versions, but there's just something about these older metal models. I really love the feel of them, I love the weight of them, I love the thickness of them, and I think they're gonna be a lot of fun to paint up. Okay, so um, for censorship's sake, I have to mention that None of these models are nude completely. They've got their naughty lady bits covered by what looks like 
a, stra a strip of their clothing. What the? Something. Ooh, these sisters of battle, they're freaky. But there, there's something, they're, they're covered up. So I think Games Workshop wasn't into full-on nudity back when these were made. They just wanted to uh, give the impression of the um, extreme leather erotic look. The BDSM with the masks, or the hoods. And, uh, you know, love is love. That's what I say. And war is war. <laughs> So whoever designed the sculpt was like, hey, uh, boss, I, I've got a great idea for the new Sisters of Battle Repentious Squad. I, I know we're uh, designing them right now. I've got a great idea. Let me let me show you some, some models that I'm going to put together. So this one's got her sword in front of her. And I'm, I'm looking at the box art to try to make out some various bits and details. It looks like down by the handle, she's got her hands wrapped in chains and wrapped into the handle there. Um, she's got like one eye that you could see. I don't know why she wouldn't cut out a second eye of her hood. She wants to purposely make herself kind of blinded, but man, the, the 90s were a, were a wild time. Identical sculpt! Ding, 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 ding! I think the rest of these are going to be identical sculpts. Here's the lady with the sword up over her head. Here's the one who's holding it out in front of her with a flashing. All right, then here is our last one. Looks like she is going to be the one sculpt that there are three of. So let's put them all out in front. I'll take a look at them all together. Oh, wait, no, it's, yeah, it's this one. You can tell because she's got the, the bandana, identical bandana bit. So those are your chain sword ladies. Three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine. And then let's take a look at the mistress. The mistress is the most interesting one because she is the boss character, the later character, and she's the one with all the detail. Now with the sculpt, I can see off the box art that she's wearing this uh, bodice that has multiple layers of, of plates. She's got the cone bra, like Madonna slash uh, an old school opera singer. Her shoulder pads are keeping her cloak in this big flared out position and then the way it drapes down it makes the model look really wider and beefier than uh, the rest of these models so it's really going to stand out. She's got uh, armored boots with the fleur de lis on the left leg there and a mask that covers everything except her chin. So her chin and her lips are the only skin parts you're gonna see. It looks like she's got this helmet with, I'm not sure if on the, the box art, it looks like a lit brazier, bra brazier, is it fire? Who knows? But then you can see that she's got two whips. Gee, Johnny, two whips? So, we're gonna take a look at the second hand here, holding the whip. It's, there's not too much detail on it. It's got like a nice flowy uh, motion to it. So it's you can tell that when it comes on, they, they want it to go with, with lines and motion. They wanted it to look like her whips were, she was like uh, constantly using them. And she's got them ready to go at all times. So I'm gonna glue this together. We're gonna take a look at it when uh, we get back and wrap up this video. And here we are, this is gonna wrap it up, folks. The build was so easy. The only thing I had to glue was the mistress's hand into her arm slot, and it turned out to be really, really easy. Just a little bit of super glue, balance it correct, push the hand into the socket, and leave it to dry, and it was perfect. All of them have slotted bases that fit really nicely into the tabs, their metal tabs. A lot of Games Workshop's tabs, oh, I forgot to clip, clip this uh, flash off. A lot of the middle tabs you're gonna find are too thick for the slotted bases, so you're gonna try to push them and push them in. If it doesn't fit, you're gonna have to take your clippers and, and shave them down, but these fit really perfectly and they were really easy to just super glue in. So all the girls are ready to be primed and painted. Hopefully I can get some time 
uh, in the near future to prime them up, maybe do a tutorial, and uh, maybe even, if I'm lucky enough, see if I can get a hold of the new box of plastic Repentia sisters. Thanks again for watching, everybody. Hope you enjoyed this video. Let's uh, take it to the close. Yeah. As I said at the beginning of this video, this entire unboxing is a thank you to Daniel Sprinkle because the Sisters of, Rep Sisters of Battle Repentia squad belong to the Sisters of Battle, which are one of his biggest armies that has been such an inspiring project to watch come up from a few years back. I've enjoyed watching him doing his unboxings and talking about the different Sisters of Battle models and uh, Daniel Sprinkle is just a great guy. If you haven't been over to his channel to subscribe to him, you really need to check out his videos. Although if you're watching this and you take part in the July painting challenge in any way, I don't know how you don't already know, but he's a great modeler and hobbyist. He's got a family and he does martial arts. And I love hearing his daily vlogs and just hearing what he's doing with his life and how he's uh, handling the hobby and the balance between real life and the hobby and what he's doing with all of his projects he's very articulate as to why he does the things he does why he chooses the uh, models the way he paints them and uh, everything about them so thank you daniel sprinkle not only for taking part in the july painting challenges for many many years but also for becoming my newest patron on patreon I really, really appreciate your supporting my studio. I hope this video will shuffle off some viewers to watch your channel and your videos because you're a great guy and I'm giving you a virtual high five across the internet, across the great, this great continent of ours and I hope that you and your family are doing great. So that's gonna wrap it up for me, folks. Thank you so much again for watching this unboxing video. Stay tuned for many more July painting challenge appreciation videos and uh, hope all of your projects are going well. Keep those paint brushes moving and keep the paint flowing and we will see you in the next video. Latest players!